Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, I hope everyone is well. And um, yeah, um, in this video, um, I have a really exciting topic to discuss with you. And this is kind of atypical of this channel in that like we just do math, right? But this is still math, uh, or it's very, very directly related to math. And so, you know, uh, worth having fun with. Um, and yeah, uh, a nice little break from just teaching you um, uh, mathematical techniques and uh, you know you know what this channel is about all right so what are we doing here first of all notice it says in America second of all it really irks me that you guys are more into these kind of videos than you are into actual like math lessons uh, please please be more into the math lessons as they are more useful this is just an opinion there is no level of um, precision I could add to this to make it like precisely precise um, so, so this is ultimately just an opinion. And so, as a matter of fact, please hold your horses. Don't uh, come at me, be like, well, I went to this school and um, you didn't mention this or whatever. Um, granted that you even watch this. <laughs> um, but okay, so what is the hardest math college course in America? Um, well, C. Uh, it looks like the most uh, discussed math uh, course in college and colleges across America is Harvard's Math 55. So this is touted as the hardest math course. But I have friends who have attended some uh, elite universities, right? And elite universities in the sense that like, you know, like these schools have like uh, the best trained mathematicians there and so on. Uh, this is not to say that if you went to a community college, your school isn't just as special and great. Uh, but anyway, I have a lot of friends who have attended uh, elite universities. And so over the years, I've kind of collected, uh, you know, this thought and that thought that I'm going to incorporate in my discussion here. So Harvard's Math 55. Um, first of all, uh, this course, right? is broken into uh, Math 55A and Math 55B, where Math 55A is uh, Honors Abstract Algebra, and then 55B is Complex Analysis. And so I know for a fact uh, that there uh, was a professor who had taught both this course and a course elsewhere um, at the University of Chicago, and the course at the University of Chicago is called Honors Analysis. The professor that taught both courses claims that the University of Chicago's honors analysis course is harder. Okay, now, I didn't attend either university, so I have no bias in this. Uh, I am only reciting uh, what that professor said who had taught both courses, both this course and this course. Now, you can't really compare the two courses because it's comparing apples and oranges. As we already said, this Harvard Math 55 course is an abstract algebra and then complex analysis course, whereas uh, 207 honors analysis at the University of Chicago is strictly an analysis course. Well, it's not really strictly an analysis course. It's like a potpourri of like uh, advanced math uh, topics, both in analysis and elsewhere. Uh, so basically, you know, analysis is a uh, very proof-based, rigorous math course that you take after you finish, you know, uh, Calc 3 and your uh, past differential equations and linear algebra. And so this is really like a very theoretical course. And, and, and as such, it borrows from a lot of different topics and a lot of different courses. For example, you see a little bit of abstract algebra in this course and so on. Okay, um, now... <laughs> there are a lot more universities in America, a lot of amazing uh, math programs in America that I'm going to share in a little bit. But uh, for the uh, purpose of answering the question, what is the hardest math college course in America? My opinion, I'd have to go with Honors Analysis 207 at the University of Chicago. Not, because, not just because the professor said that, but also because I know for a fact that on average, students were getting a 7% out of 100 in this course. So the average uh, grade on tests in this course was a 7%. Okay, if you ask me, 
that's not okay. Uh, all that tells you is not about the difficulty of the course, but rather how um, poorly the course must have been taught and how unprepared the students were for the course. So even if the University of Chicago is trying really hard to live up to its motto as the place where fun comes to die by assigning excessive amounts of homework and such, if students are getting 7% on a test, it just means that they didn't master the material and the professor didn't do a good enough job communicating it. It doesn't like mean anything else as far as I am concerned. But as I just said, um, there are a lot of other amazing math programs and a lot of other amazing um, universities uh, in America and all over the world. So this can never be complete. In fact, no list of rankings uh, or comparison of courses or universities can ever be complete or precise, as I said. Uh, RIP Paul Sally, this is the professor who is mentioned here. He uh, has authored one of the uh, books used in this course and the other looks like is like some Russian dude. I have a Russian math book uh, in my um, bookshelf that I have never really touched. A friend of mine who attended MIT both undergrad and grad school uh, let, let me borrow it. He never remembered to take it back, so it's still on my bookshelf. And I really couldn't open it because it was so hard that like I just didn't even know where to start. Uh, but yeah, Professor Sally here who uh, is uh, now um, in heaven with the Lord Christ um, had a lot of say in designing this course. Here he is again. Uh, but yeah, uh, so my verdict, you've heard it, honors analysis at the University of Chicago. And uh, that is corroborated by the professor who had taught both Harvard's Math 55 and honors analysis. Okay, moving forward, uh, let's look at also uh, the Institute for Advanced Studies because, well, you see, like, you cannot talk about amazing math programs and leave out Princeton. As you'll see in the rankings from US News that I'm about to share shortly, Princeton is at the top of the rankings. Uh, I mean, for starters, uh, in his late years, Einstein spent a lot of time at the uh, Institute for Advanced Studies at Princeton, and Princeton is just a, a powerhouse for mathematics. So, as I said, there are a lot of other universities uh, whose courses need to be examined in order for uh, this video to like really make sense. Um, and so, one mention is um, the uh, Institute of Institute for Advanced Study, sorry, at Princeton. Uh, but of course, there are many other universities that must be in the consideration. Uh, once again, according to U.S. News, uh, the best graduate math programs are number one, Princeton. You can see the, uh, the list here. Um, and uh, yes, uh, more yes, right? And um, yes, these are the rankings. Okay. Uh, and so this is like the top 10, really top 11, but since you know, they've tied a bunch of these guys, like uh, three of them are, or sorry, there's a three-way tie for number nine and yada yada, like I couldn't really make a top 10, um, I had to make a top 11, and so here it is. Now, I did say these uh, are uh, math courses in colleges in America, because then I would be leaving out some other incredible math programs elsewhere outside of America, for example, Cambridge, right? Um, Oxford, and then uh, IIT, uh, CIT, Calcutta Institute of Technology, uh, Mos Moscow uh, State University, and Moscow Institute of Technology. So there are a lot of other amazing universities all over the world uh, that have incredibly rigorous and tough math programs. And so those are worth mentioning. Now, in this list, my favorite two colleges or universities are MIT and Caltech. I think that if US News did an unbiased ranking of uh, universities, MIT and Caltech would be number one and number two every year. Why do I claim that? Well, because you see, although the SAT has changed so that the new SAT is like less of an IQ test, the old SAT was very aligned to an IQ test. And so, uh, if you looked at uh, the SAT scores of students attending MIT and Caltech, they are the best scores of any school. On average, MIT and Caltech select students with the highest SAT math and therefore the highest IQs. And so, you know, these kids might be too nerdy to even be functional, some of them, but 
at the end of the day, if we're just basing it strictly on merit and talent, then MIT and Caltech should be number one and number two in university rankings every single year. Um, what else? What else is there um, uh, worth saying? Well, Terence Tao uh, uh, did his PhD at Princeton and um, like is at UCLA now, right? Um, what else uh, should we say here? Um, I think this is about it, right? Like this is about it for uh, a, sh a very brief discussion of what I think is the hardest math course in America. Um, okay, um, if I uh, find something that I'm into in the moment like this, that's very related, pertinent to mathematics in the future, I'll share. But this is kind of like a once in a while thing for me. Um, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna get right back to uh, making math lessons. Um, and so that's what you can expect. I hope you enjoyed this for what it's worth and um, keep watching, take care.